Today on Yeti at a Large, we're making a bright, colorful, simono style salad. Today on Yeti at Large, we're tired of winter, so we want something that's going to brighten it up, remind us of spring. I start with a quarter cup of CNH pure cane sugar for my dressing. You could use honey, agave nectar, stevia. Add a little black pepper for flavor to taste. You can add white pepper if you want to keep it clear. And I'm going to use a heaping teaspoon of kosher sea salt. Now, traditional recipes in the Japanese kitchen, we would have put that right over the cucumbers to extract most of the water out of the cucumber. But in this situation, I want all the nutrients and juice. This is a 12 ounce bottle of rice wine vinegar. I want about four ounces, so I'm kind of eyeballing where I think it is. I need a touch more. I like my dressings pretty tangy, so it might be a little strong for you, but I have a feeling it uh, really helps get all the flavors to come together. I'll give this a stir and we'll set it aside to let the sugar and salt melt while we prep our vegetables. Now, I didn't bother washing the vegetables on camera, but you always want to give stuff a good scrub before you process it. And uh, you can see my onion sprouted some greens there. I'll pick those greens out of it. I don't like them in the food. It's not delicious like a green onion. I want everything in a matchstick shape today. I'm trying to get consistent shapes that are easy to pick up with a pair of chopsticks. Traditionally, I'll cut the cucumber into very, very thin coins. But today I'm going to go with a quarter inch matchstick. And for the carrot, I'm going to do an eighth inch matchstick because it's a harder vegetable and I want that dressing to penetrate quicker. Now, I start with the thick end of the carrot because it's safer because I don't have the little carriage for my mandolin. If you don't have one of these, get yourself one. They're cheap and they'll change your life. I got the crinkle cut blade on there because I was cutting tomatoes before and I like that crinkle cut for the tomatoes. You can see the blue on the julienne lines up with the depth gauge of the blue on the side. I'll get this thing switched over and ready to go and we'll process. They normally come with a little cradle. I somehow or another lost mine a while ago. Be very careful to keep your fingers away from these blades. They don't care. Agnes loves the tops of the carrots. I'll give her that. These blades don't care what they cut. So be super careful. And notice by starting with the thick end of the carrot and going to the skinny, uh, it increases your safety. I'll switch it over to the big quarter inch. We'll adjust it and get our matchsticks. I'm thinking this will help the cucumbers last a couple of days longer. This salad's good for a day or two in the fridge. I don't want it to over marinate though. I want to enjoy the freshness of the vegetables. Our dressing has come together. This make a great salad dressing. You change it to red wine vinegar, add a little mustard and anchovy paste, by the way. So I think we're ready. I start with my onions and my carrots. I'm going to do a little taste test with a clean spoon. Pucker power. I love it. I start with the onions and the carrots because I want the dressing to break them down the most. Uh, and again, at the end of the day, I'm not letting them sit very long. Sometimes I will. Today, I'm in a hurry for the camera. I'll put my best sweet bell peppers on there. And then I'll put my uh, cucumbers using my bench scraper. That's in one of our other little videos, essential bakery equipment. Look how nice it just seems to pick everything up. Those matchsticks are going to be great. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and easy to handle with chopsticks. Now, stirring this salad, you want to be super careful to fold it from the bottom up and over with a regular spoon. Don't break your veggies all up. You want to get as much of the marinade in contact with the veggies. So I push it down and I'm going to wrap it up. One of my tricks that I do, it might just be uh, uh, a favorite of mine, but I'll push the plastic wrap right down onto the product. I feel like it brings the liquid up and helps everything marinate a little bit better. Um, and I don't like the air on my food is if I can avoid it, especially something that might skin over. So we'll let this sit in the fridge for one hour. We'll give it another stir and we're ready to eat. So we let it sit for about an hour to marinate and that really helps. This will hold for several days, uh, but it's best served uh, prepared afternoon before dinner. What I love about this is it's bright, it's crisp, it's tangy. It's got all those fun Asian flavors that just seem to pop. Now, when I originally learned how to make Simono salad, we just put cucumber and, and uh, white onion in it. But you can mix it up and do all kinds of stuff. You see, I've added carrot and red bell pepper here for color, plus the crispness kind of pops. 
I wouldn't recommend using red onion because it'll turn it kind of gray in the vinegar. But if you want red, shred a little purple cabbage, soak it in some ice water to bleach out the purple color so it doesn't bleed on everything, and then add it at the last minute. It's also bright and delicious. Mmm. Mm. The reason I made this is I'm waiting on spring. We still have three feet of snow outside. And I thought all the fresh vegetables would make me happy. And if you want to punch it up a little bit, you can always sprinkle some of these wonderful flat iron pepper uh, company, Asian red peppers right on top. Careful not to use too much. You just want to add a little zip. You don't want to make it flaming hot. I'm not sponsored by Flatiron, but it's a shameless plug. They make great quality products. Oh yeah. These Asian reds are incredible. So don't be scared of the onions raw like that in a, in a salad. If you're really sensitive to onions, you can soak them in a little water and drain them to help mellow them out, but the vinegar really does its job. A lot of times I'll garnish this with toasted sesame seeds, but I had a brand new bag in a Mylar pouch I hadn't opened and I didn't want to do it just to get a sprinkle for the photo shoot. When I toast my sesame seeds, a lot of times I'll put a little ginger powder on them to really take them to the next level. This makes a great side dish if you're having sushi or if you're making katsu or teriyaki. Let her rip and enjoy it. Please leave a comment down below like and subscribe and share this channel with a friend. We could use your support. Thank you.